Hey guys, Wally here and welcome back to Zero AD. And right now I am playing a 4 vs 4 match. I am playing as the new civilization, the Han Chinese. And looking at the minimap, well, we can see two things. We are using the new allied view feature. And the map is also super small, like we are all right next to each other. So we will see how it goes, yeah, like cavalry play will be suppose not as strong in the late game. It will be stronger in the early game, I would say, yeah, because we can reach each other very quickly. If I can't find damage on one of the players, I can try and find damage on the next player. So basically that's how I approach it, yeah, how I will approach it. I will, you know, say hi to Dai's raid, I think. Say hi to Cronelius, he's also the Hans. If I can't find damage, I simply move on to the next guy and try to find damage on him. Basically that's how... Yeah, you approach things on this map size, I suppose. I did make sure to get the baskets upgrade for faster berry gathering. Can make sure the gatherers are spread out there and all on the same bush here, because the berry bushes now, they regenerate food, so you do want to spread out gatherers to, you know, optimize everything to the last bit. Okay, I have Groot in my pocket. Does he boom? What does he do? The Ptolemy boom is crazy good. And yeah, this woodline I also like, you know, that he picked it. Yes, or is that no? I don't know, I can't tell. Actually, you should probably go and scout, my friend. There we go. I can't, I don't know. I, I suppose that's yes. Alright, let's see. See, I do want to know if my opponents will be surprising me with, you know, a bunch of units, all that stuff. Yeah, there it is. Huh. That's a lot of units. Like, a lot, a lot. Okay, so yeah, he basically is going all in here. If I survive this, I'll be perfectly fine. I'll be very well off. Ah, oh, but you are in a bad position, aren't you? I, I bet he will try and fight this. But he shouldn't. But he shouldn't fight this. I mean, but overall, right? Like, I suppose it's still worth it for him, because even though... Does in a way sacrifice himself. I am supposed to also be, you know, helping the team a lot more than he is, balance wise, yeah? So I suppose like him sacrificing himself to take me out does make sense on a team perspective. He wins the fight. Yep, he is fighting now. Look at this micro guy. Look at him. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, he can see that I'm, you know, busy here, so he is willing to just send out some resources. The problem is like, I can't really, I mean I need to add some spearmen at home, that's pretty much what I need to do. I don't want to be chasing him now, that's the worst part. Me chasing him is absolutely horrible. My friends... My friend, my friend, my friend. And they all fight, they all should be fighting here. I think I win this, I think I win this, honestly. I can't tell actually. Yeah, him running away actually, I think, actually makes it worse for him. Like, <laughs> for the team overall there. We clean up all the javelin cavalry, we clean them up, it's fine. That's perfect. Are we not winning this? Oh, that's also... Don't pay attention, don't pay attention. Ah, he had more to reinforce. Darn it, man. Stone, okay, you can get some stone, my friend. I didn't realize he had sent more to reinforce there, that's very bad, not paying attention, yeah? I mean, kill to death ratio wise, it could be bear, but it could also be worse, you know, that's the, that's the takeaway. If I need metal, I will ask for it, I will just go 
for more and more sword cavalry. Because my pocket is booming, yeah, it's actually great. Yeah, look at population for yellow. He's at such a good population right now. Assuming Aslan is their flank. I mean pocket for orange. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, man. That's huge. That is really nice to have. Now just keep doing some more. Like sword cavalry. Now just keep on being annoying. I'll try and check up on, you know, what they've got going on at home here. Not on berries there. Oh, hello. Yeah. Okay, so they are one side. As long as I can distract these two players and let my pocket boom, you know, quite safely, quite freely. It is actually perfect for us. Because he will be really boomed up. Great economy. Just, you know, do the hard part of carrying me to a win. The easy job. Not the hard part. How hard is it to carry a game? Can't be that hard. The Ptolemies. Such a good civilization, man. And they even give me a food, Rico. Not only does he send me food, his civilization itself gives me food, you know? The team bonus. How many soldiers do I have here? That's enough. That's enough soldiers. I don't need more at home to defend from red. I'll send out these guys. And just go for his economy now. My friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, you can fight. Oh, that's orange right there. Okay. Oh, I finished them. Barak, when did I do that? Oh, it's all spearmen there, darn it. It's actually good economy too. <laughs> clean them all up, clean them all up, clean, clean up, clean up, clean up, clean up. We go on. Oh man, that's a lot of losses. Oof, that's painful, okay. He's losing a lot actually. Yeah, he lost a lot there. Well, that sucks. And yeah, he knows he has to run as well. He knows he has to run. Three and teleport them through. Ah, just come over here. Yeah, Orange is basically completely idled. And I need food. That's what I will do now. That's what I will do now. I will just try and get food for myself. I really need food. Get food. Get food figured out now. Go to berries. Go to berries. Don't waste time. They are all weak. Fight them. Fight them. Fight them. Come on. And those sword cavalry are doing way more damage than they should like for both sides. Does that red there? I think I saw red. Am I going mad? Take these berries instead, I guess. Why is this so hard? Where am I chasing them to? Come on, like they are all so weak, they are like all one hit, but not one hit. They are all one hit without being one hit. My man, please. Oh, they disappeared. They just disappeared. Red isn't harassing me, everything is perfect. Everything is perfect at the moment. What a beauty. Just keep taking food. Yeah, my sword cavalry is my economy right now. That's what this is. Yeah, I also need them to, you know, kind of start becoming my military soon again. So I heal up the weak ones. Yeah, I should take those deer. They've been sitting there forever. Oh yeah, those were red cavalry I think I cleaned up there. So that means he has no cavalry left over, doesn't it? I think that was all he had. I'm pretty sure that was all he had. 
So can we heal up these guys that are sitting in the civic center? And we just go straight for the farm economy, the food economy. It's like all we need here. Up. Well, they are healing up, we keep the rest of our units just collecting up some food. I've got almost too much food. So much I don't know what to do with it. Yeah, I need to send them... I don't need to send them off to... Oh yeah, the house is not even finished yet, okay. Like, I thought I was saving up wood for another house, but that's not the case, so that's okay. We're fine. We are fine. Yeah, I will still need... A house on top of this anyways. How is yellow doing? Okay. We are, yeah, quite low, both of us. But orange should be even worse off than I am. And red, like, I doubt red is better off than yellow. That's my high-level analysis here. Okay, just drop off your food and you'll be good to go for wave 2, eh? No, they're just staying harass like raid for now. Be annoying there, as annoying as I can manage. Just straight for food. We go straight for food. Come on. There we go. You get to work. You get to work too. Oh, hello! I mean, that's probably better we didn't encounter him, honestly. Yeah, if we just go for orange then. Okay, we a change of plans. Like, it seems like, yeah, I'm floating huge amounts of food, but, like, that food will disappear so quickly because my main source of food income has disappeared now. You know, my cavalry were my main, force, like, source of food income. They aren't around anymore, so I have to be setting up, you know, like, other, like, just simply, you know, sources for food. Food income, source revenue, like, food revenues, I don't know. I need to be setting up farms, basically. I mean, get rid of this guy, that's great. So that's all you've got. And the economy is completely idle, let's just not take a fight we don't need to. Get them right out of the civic center range. Okay, that's perfect, that should be well, good enough. We clean this up, no problem, yep. You can't help. Ah, well, yeah, they are all in the houses, aren't they, yeah? They are all in houses, that's where they are hiding. And I'll just add a couple onto farm economy, yeah, a couple spearmen onto farm economy. That should be fine. Yeah, run right in, don't be worried. We have nothing to fear here. I don't allow the economy. Yep, no food income. That is what we love to see. Look at all this idle time. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Very kind of you. Why do I have so many houses now? Why was I spamming down so many houses? I mean, I won't ask questions, I guess. I sure don't mind having the spare population space. That's for sure. Okay. I guess we go for wave 2 on orange, just... If I can keep him down, just keep him down. That's the solution for me. Yeah, yellow is booming up very nicely. Love to see that. Yeah, I've got all this food because they're just sending me food. Not because I'm gathering it. Who was sending me yellow? Oh yeah, yellow, yeah. And purple too, actually. The other side, but he is supporting me, which is nice, but also... Yes, you know, like, if they are not confident on their side winning, it's not the best thing to do. I guess maybe, I hope they are confident on that. I mean, yeah, they have good vision there, so they have done some... something there, at least. They've been present there. 100 metal, please. I want to get the farming upgrade. That would be really good to have. Oh, that's berries. Oh, I never saw them. Maybe because they were only recently found. That could be a fact too. There's nobody there. I don't even bother. Okay. 
I was I spent too much time just looking around. Ay ay ay. Ay ay ay, come on. Nope, we don't go there. And we don't do that. I mean still I had like all those units garrisoned in there, so it was just perfectly fine. Alright, you all just need to be setting up farms for me now because I am floating too much wood. I have too few farmers. And just take some sheep on your way back, I guess. That's fine. Yeah, that's also a direct pathway onto his farm economy there, so I will use that. I will absolutely use that. I wish I had stone. 100 stone, please. I want to put down a second barrack. That would be great. That would be really good. I need to send a couple units off to a different wood line. Okay, now look at all this idle time. Like, you do want to be garrisoning soldiers in the civic center. Because they are the ones who add extra arrows to, you know, to what's fired. Yep, let's send the wee guys off to heal and I guess just go for some more laps of raiding. Woodcutting, yes. Farming, yes. That's all good. That's all what we want to see. I still need more farmers. I want to get up to 40 farmers here. That's kind of my goal. Ah, but he'll have all his sword cavalry garrison here, I suppose. At least I would guess so. It would make sense to me. So it will be hard to find some damage under the civic center. But we can still dive under for a little bit. For a quick little bit. Yeah, that's just about all we can do though. <laughs> nope, I'm out. Not doing this. It's quite laggy now, isn't it? A bit more laggy, unfortunately. But yeah, we escape without any casualties. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Without any losses. You have nothing to do. I don't mind. Yeah, city phase minute 14. No, they are all like the same exact population. I'm the only one really lagging behind here. I am the only one really lagging behind even with all the feed I've received. But you know, I feel like I've got a great excuse for that. There's all my cavalry. They should have more cavalry than this. Why do I have... Why did I send them off? For nothing. Did I suicide my cavalry here? I did. Oh my, I was not paying attention. I was absolutely distracted. I am not willing to fight that. No shot. No chance. No chance I'm fighting that, my friend. No chance. Zero chance. Oh, goodbye. Goodbye, minister. Was nice knowing, yeah? But will he run under my civic center? No chance. Now that's a huge mistake. If he does so. That's a huge mistake. That's absolutely not worth it. Come under my civic center. Come under my civic center. Come on. Don't be scared. It's all fine. Running under a civic center isn't that bad. It's not that bad. Don't worry. Uh, we are both on the same, like, pretty much in the same area, yeah? Only queued up from... 
to buildings. Yeah, back to work, that's all perfect then. Ah, they are all super weak, so can't be doing much. They can't really achieve too much. Yeah, we have three Han Chinese right next to each other. Didn't even really think about that. Yeah, full invasion coming in. Those have some nice towers set up, that's very important to have in these just pure cities and attacks. If you have a couple towers, like it's very difficult to find much damage on you. It really is. Ah, it's Al. Al Spearman. Hmm. Yeah, hopefully they won't lose on that side, eh? I did not expect him to go for that. I guess that's probably more from him to just not paying attention than yet than actually liking the fight. At least I would assume so. I would really assume so. I need more farmers. Don't have enough farmers. Oh, gave up the tower, that's no good. Yeah, this fight will be happening, so like the frames will just be all gone, yeah. The frames will be gone for everybody. I mean, population wise, they should be well off. They are also quite spread out in their attack. Yeah, the tower's working too, but two towers are working. Although, the capture tower isn't garrison, so it's not doing all that much. I think what I will do is I'll actually, I will focus more on population right now. I think I need more population than anything. Right, like my teammate will invade at some point. I think I'm more useful with just a lot of reinforcing units than actually, you know, like, with tech units. Focus population on over techs right now. There is Dr. Organs. Oh, that's him there. Oh, you have like loads of Skirita the Spartans. Like, you just put out Skirita in my opinion as the Spartans. That's your game plan. That's your big plan. Yeah, it's super laggy, but... When a big fight is happening, like, that's just simply how it will be, yeah? It's like they are... The game goes as fast as the slowest player, and like, in these huge fights, when they are watching over it, it just... Oh, massively slows down yeah, with these big fights. How's it looking? Yeah, needs more barracks, I suppose. Yeah, Marco Aurel. I will reinforce quickly enough with just three. Is yellow phase three yet? He isn't. Ah. Don't like that too much. I was hoping he'll be phase three already, yeah? kind of, to be honest. I mean, nothing bad to do than to just watch the fight. Almost, yeah. But I am all out of food. Why am I all out of food? Are they winning this? No way they are winning this. How are they winning this? I did not expect that, to be honest. Okay. Well, that's cool. I do quite wish I didn't sacrifice, you know, suicide my, like, the nine other cavalry I had, because I could just send them, you know, right over here somewhere. Like, right somewhere over here, and just try to cut off reinforcements, just try to cause a bit of chaos, be a bit annoying. Ah. Super laggy. Super annoying. Yeah, he'll go for the fight now. You know what? I will... I will entertain that. I, I think that's without upgrades. I think that's without upgrades. Okay, send them somewhere over here. There will be a big surprise as I teleport all my troops right on top of him. He won't be expecting that. He will not be expecting that. And now, just if I just had 15 cavalry now to kind of be cutting off reinforcements that will also be there. 
when he tries to retreat. I was like, I know I'm gonna win this. Right? Like, I've got way more than him. That's a complete domination there. It's a completely dominating fight. Yeah, and they are pushed back now. Oh yeah, Purple sent absolutely everything he had. Absolutely everything. Put down a tower here as best as I can, like I can't really keep chasing there, you know? Can't really keep chasing there. Add more to economy. Yeah, siege is so late, like we still don't have siege at this point in time. Like if we had siege, we could actually be taking out red. But we don't have siege, that's the problem. That's the big problem. Yeah, I mean you boys just need to go on economy, don't ya? You boys just need to be economy. I hard to tell if he wants to support there or if he's just going to finish his his elephant stables. It's so laggy. Super lag. I don't know, like he's just completely undecided if he wants to push or if he wants to help on the other side. I am Groot. Send siege to me and support other. Oh, I can't, I can't type other side. And hopefully find some food to harass their food economy. They go straight for the economy there, huh? Yeah, it's just sent everything, right, to try and support. Like, now he has no economy. So like, no, no, wood economy, nothing at home to defend against these raids. And like, he can't keep reinforcing. He could have sent a couple less units. But actually being able to reinforce them, that would have been, you know, far superior. I said suicided army cavalry again. And that would have been like completely far superior. Like, that's something I've seen a lot, right? Like, players will just send like absolutely everything they have. Even when I sent like, you know, like all these miners, I still had these 20 guys on wood in the back that I never touched. Never sent anywhere. So it's just better that way. Like keeping economy is better over, like than just sending all you've got. Like even so I'll have like what? That won't be enough, like just send two of the batches over to Over to wood, so I can actually keep reinforcing you a bit better. Yeah, the were elephants would just be sniped so easily. But yeah, both types of units would be sniped so, so easily. That's also a problem, yeah? On the production building, that won't hurt. So you can actually try and reinforce semi-well, semi-decently. Yeah, another tower, but like those are all sentry towers, like they are all so weak. All so, so weak. Just fully carry some civic center. And everything, so much. Oh, I can get more population than this actually. Crap, I, I'm 200. 20 population, not 200. I forgot about that. Does he have upgrades? Not all of them. Ah, hack upgrades before Pierce upgrades. That's not what we want to be doing here. It's like barely, like they don't have swords when, right? I think. Are there, there aren't even Skiritai. 
So like hack upgrades are useless, like only melee units could do hack damage. Like this spear man, he does 0.5 more hack damage than peers. Like it's barely anything, it's not worth it, you know, pretty much. That's the short of it. Just keep these guys alive for long enough to destroy the civic center. That's the goal. Like look at the population, yeah, we've both gone for the same idea. Go on, wood, go on, wood. Like them sending out this food makes my economy look more unbalanced than it is, you know? Yeah, I can't be sitting under the civic center like this actually as it turns out. Kill on Garrison and I'll actually lose everything here. Yeah, that's painful. Try to sit under, but like he has the civic center fully garrisoned with soldiers. Oh, he had it fully garrisoned with soldiers. And it just won't be enough, yeah. I'm out, at least you can save a couple units. Yo, he trying to push now. Yeah, if the other side is dead, then they, then it's game over. If the other side is dead, because I, they defended, they have nothing more to do there. I have no siege of my own, I can't push by myself right now. And yeah, he played it perfectly well. Like, he just used a civic center as a defensive, you know, kind of center point. It's the main defensive line, like... Like, look at how much damage... My crossbows took despite no unit directly attacking them, despite, you know, but only the civic center. It's just the civic center and that tower that did all that damage and just devoured all my crossbows here. Like, if I don't dive in, then the elephants just get sniped and I can't push anything, so it's just a pretty impossible situation, yeah? Need to add a couple onto stone, a couple onto metal, and then I can go up. If he's pushing, he's making a mistake here. Which would be nice, you know, it would be good if he were to push. It would be quite nice. She send out the V guys off to the mines. Send out the V guys off to the mines. Yes, 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 that's the solution. That's the big solution. How did I not think of that right away? Are they dead? Are they dead? Yes, they are. Well, yellow isn't. Can yellow hold it? He's against three there. Like, no chance. He's against three. He can't hold it. He cannot hold it. Yeah, like, these guys need to sit in that tower, I feel like. They do need to. A lonely fortress. Completely abandoned. We still have nothing to do. It's nice that they are sending me resources, but yeah, like, I can do nothing with that. I guess he's sending me because, like, can't use them himself anyways. And assuming they somehow survive on that side, which seems very unlikely, to be honest. Yeah, food-wise, they're all fine. What I need to do is probably just sling them wood. Just sling purple wood, sling green some wood. And hope that's enough for them, you know? Okay, I will want a temple on the front line. That's absolutely necessary. Yeah, these guys are all walking way too much. Need to go elsewhere. I need a market. I need to just accelerate my way to the next phase, man. So just cancel some units from the queue, that's fine. That's such a mess. Yes, it is. Yes, it is a lag fest. Unfortunately. You 
in a weird way it has to do with like the map size, no? It's like you just have way too many units in the same place. So it just lags like crazy. Because of just how many units that are in the same spot. Let's see how long they can hold on. Two more elephants. Just two, it's gonna be hard to make work. Yeah, like that's like no way, no way. I'm not a believer in this, you know, I am not a believer in this. Yeah, yellow is still like really holding great population overall. He really is. How many spectators are there? Don't know, like with this many spectators, like it could well help, it could also, you know, not help at all to just kick them all. And I just hope it gets better, yeah, like that, it's one of the spectators slowing everything down. I need a Pierce armor upgrades, most of everything. Absolutely need those. But how are they holding this? How is it not completely lost yet? Oh, that forest, man, it's just... It's barely alive. Uh, watch your elephants, my friend, watch your elephants. There's no point attacking at this point in time, like, that gives us nothing. Yeah. I was just trying to pick up some basic upgrades here. Ah, look at how many he has. I mean, they don't have upgrades, though, is the big thing. They do not have upgrades. Yeah, an elephant are gone, unfortunately. Woodwise, they are all completely fine here. Ooh, the Civic Center is gonna be doing work, though. That's good. I really need to start, like, doing some fighting here. Need to really start doing some damage, doing something. Yeah, it's all just... It's all going bad. It's all going very, very bad. Yeah, these towers need to become stone towers. That's quite important too. At least the ones on the front. This one too. Oh, why is it still garrison? Come on. I guess we send them off to try and just support here, yeah? Like, we have to at least try and do that much. Now, have enough metal for the basic upgrades. Then, phase two armor, woodcutting, and also very soon then the siege shop for some rams. Where are all the units? They're just everywhere throughout, just send them in somewhere in a generic direction and they will find what they are looking for. That's my current conclusion. Let's get the infantry attack upgrades. We have enough units near the front line. 
Yeah, just Garis on this tower forced. Garis on that tower. Okay, not exactly sure why they haven't given up yet, but okay. Yeah, two rams. I guess you can combine that with the elephants and then you can do something. Uh, yep, that's another guy gone. That's another guy gone. I guess you're going for the cleanup here, eh? Okay, yeah, so we have one resign. I guess yeah, that is basically game, because two people on our team are dead. We are not going to clean up the race, there's no chance of that happening. Zero chance. Two rams. Two rams and a dream. Eco-wise they should be way ahead, I mean he can go for the last fight, for the last dream. What upgrades does he have? Everything, okay. Let's see the strength of our crossbowmen. How much can they actually achieve? Probably not too much, but... Whatever. Now you are supposed to attack the spearmen there, you know, not the ram. Not the ram, we don't care about the ram, okay? We don't care about the... What? What's with my crossbows? Do we even win this fight? Doesn't seem like we do. It does not at all seem like we do. Oh, hello! I didn't realize this was happening. How did I miss out on this party? Now we have orange, red, everyone just going ham. <laughs> yeah, they got completely cleaned up, they got nothing done. They got nothing done. Well, the dream didn't get very far. The dream did not go very far. I mean, yeah, Ptolemies are just still dominating, but... The Ptolemies, you expect that, you know, you expect that. If you aren't dominating with Ptolemies, then what are you doing? I just try. What is the... Okay, so yeah, he has the force to upgrade. As much as me, yeah, at the moment. We will try and go... ...for the Civic Center here. Oh, they are not paying attention. This fight even going anywhere. Okay, I am able to support his like units here on the front. Yeah, like I've got a lot of melee. Doing some work here. And probably crossbows are just better off repairing, isn't that the case? I think so. Well, he got way more than I thought. He has way more still in economy. Yeah, he has lots of in Units still doing economy. Which I was hoping wasn't the case, but it clearly is the case. Look at how much he still has on economy. Oi, oi, oi. 
And yeah, he's also like very correctly using the civic center as a holdout here. This is very, very correct play, game. Yeah? Like, I mean, the one up, like, the one advantage we have is that he doesn't have upgrades, though. Like, he has, like, no upgrades. So, and we have, like, full ranged upgrades here. So, that's, like, the one advantage we have in pushing this through. For whatever reason, the other side is not pushing at all. 100 metal. I have, like, exactly that. Come on. Why are the rounds I'm going for the tower here? So, like, he, he has... Dude, he was popcapped, wasn't he? He was completely popcapped, man. For sure. And I'm gonna snipe the elephant, so that's also gonna mean that we can really... Collapse on his crossbows, like clean up his crossbows, and then the rounds will do the rest of the work. Yep, now the rounds can do the rest of the work. Yep, that's perfect. How is he not... Okay, yeah, there it is. Now he's being attacked. I was just about to say, like, how is he not getting attacked right now? But there it is, there it is. My friend! It's laggy enough, you have time? The fortress is built, like, probably just need another fortress somewhere over here. And if you've got that, then you actually have, like, a, a, a chance, yeah, you can actually do something. Yeah, but this army needs to be cleaned up now. Yeah, those two are actually clearing them out. I'm not exactly sure how. I'm not exactly sure how we are cleaning them out. But we are. So you can take this barrack, is it garrisoned? I hope it isn't. It would be great if it isn't. Did I ever get the last farming upgrade? I did not. It would have been very nice to have it. Jump in the fortress, actually, no? And that's the best I can do right now, I think. Jump in the fortress. Keep adding extra arrows to be fired. Go for this tower. You'll also take this other barrack. Take this other barrack. Take the barrack, take the barrack, take the barrack. Does he have economy still? I can't see how many gatherers he has, unfortunately. I need these two houses, then the territory links up, and I don't need to keep anyone garrisoned. Okay, yep, I've got the barracks. I've got the barracks for myself. Yep, come right over here. Take this barrack, take this barrack. Nice, okay, so we have pushed that back. We have pushed that back, yeah, we have survived this. Send these guys on to... Over there. But how are we actually pushing this back right now? I don't understand. I legitimately don't understand how we are not dead right now. That's another barrack to take. That is absolutely another barrack for my taking. I just have so many Albert Deer in the wrong place. Oh, we haven't captured it yet, oh. That probably explains why I couldn't garrison. <laughs> Will that be enough? Oh, it's not enough. Of course it isn't. Darn it, man. Another house and it's fine. Or just another barrack. Okay, 
Yeah, let's exclude the farthest away production buildings. We don't need them working anymore. We have enough, yeah, we have enough production here. Dudes, 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 fight please, fight, fight, fight. Oh, they are all idle. They are all idle, man. They need to be working. How is this happening? Hello? Like, what? How exactly is this push going on right now, man? I'll just take out some houses for now, just take out some houses. And reinforce the front line, keep reinforcing the front line. And front line units, loads of halberdiers and so on. Two house someone metal, so that problem will fix itself, yeah? Keep woodcutters, keep woodcutters. Don't send them all off to fight. Don't send your woodcutters like your whole main. You know, the backline of your army is your economy. The backline, the backbone, whatever. Close enough. Yeah, like, especially if you are losing population like this, you can't be sending them all off to fight. They all need to go. That hero really needs to go. That hero really isn't liked by me. Yeah, seems game over. It should be game over, yeah. Or is Marco Aurel rebuilt? I forgot about... Oh, he's nowhere near rebuilt. Never mind. Oh, there's the reinforcements too. Yeah, GG. That's game over. That is game over for sure. Okay, well, we dragged it out longer than it needed to, probably. We really dragged it out longer than it needed to be, but... Oh, well. Had a nice push there, yeah? Had a nice push. Yeah, look at that. 140. Can't beat that. Why resign? So we have like a half of your population overall, I think. Yeah, 170. I mean, if we are both still at 200, we could debate fighting on, but yeah, no chance like this. No chance. Also, a mistake, I mean, in hindsight here. If I upgraded the Civic Center to the, like, to the cooler building, which lets me train heroes, and I got a promotion a hero, it could have actually been really strong, yeah, because I could have made sure my halberdiers all get the promotions they need and be able to really do damage. Why do I have all my barracks pointing to the forest? Is that the case? Why do I have 80 on wood right now? That's like too many. Don't need that many on wood. But whatever, we had a nice game here, some nice fights. Hard to tell like, you know, how well it could have gone. So I feel like, yeah, on the other side. The idea that I feel like is the most terrible thing to do, like you're getting attacked and you just send absolutely everyone and everything to fight and you don't keep enough. Can wood gatherers. And especially if they don't have siege. Like your civic center is super underrated for those early fights where siege isn't around because it will just simply like devour all just cities and soldiers if they don't have like full upgrades. It will completely devour them. Oh wow, actually, I overtook both orange and red hand population. That's interesting. Okay. But yeah, Red got up. Red did catch up. And what I care about quite a lot too is... I got sent... Huge amounts of resource. See, that's two players who sent, but... Who were the receivers? Hey, on the other side, Dr. Organs got fed quite a lot. I guess they were fighting on the other side too. 
I just didn't get to see it too much. Yeah, orange and red. Didn't see you too much. Well, they see you less than me, that's for sure. Yeah, we really took way too long to win on our side, yeah. We took way too long to win on our side. Just, I feel like in hindsight, I suppose, yeah. Had I been able to provide my own siege earlier, we could have tried to really get the push going, but with the elephants it just wasn't happening, unfortunately. I was the only one able to use the Han Chinese population bonus, Red actually never got there. Yeah, Red never actually got to be able to use it. Okay, let's check the early fights and so on. Units total trained, lost. Yeah, I was able to also make it quite painful for orange, for red too. Yeah, yellow lost quite many as well there. Like he got just simply, I guess, overwhelmed with other raiding like, ability. It's like sword cavalry. Like in my previous experience, they really haven't been that great. But with all this chaos in the early game too, like the two versus one, we had all the numbers, all that going on. It's like they do thrive in chaos, I suppose, yeah, like that's where they are based. And that's also what we had a lot of in the early game. Yeah, blue just went for that pure boom, pure, pure boom. So yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't be afraid to leave a like, leave a comment, and also subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you all later. Peace.